people, people, share this live with five people and comment done. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Y'all know we in here today, boy. Y'all know we in here today. If y'all, if look, I'm on here with YouTube and I'm on here with y'all on Instagram. Y'all can't hear me? What y'all mean y'all can't hear me? Y'all can't hear me at all? Y'all should be able to hear, brother. Hold up now. Can y'all hear me? Let me know if y'all can hear me. What's going on, family? What's going on? Popping, popping, popping. I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited to talk to y'all. I'm here to answer any questions. So this is what I'm going to do, right? Any questions that y'all have, I am going to answer them here, okay? So any questions that, you know, you all may, you know, want to answer, go ahead and tap the badges. Look, badges ain't going to pay the bills, but it will let me know um, who's supporting, who's tapping in. Um, I am coming out with something amazing, so I do want you all to be tapped in so y'all know what special gift, uh, what special surprise I'm going to give to y'all at the end of this, you know what I'm saying? So, look, y'all got the badges, tap in. I'm newly with the badges thing. I'm not even going to hold you. So I want to see how this badges thing works. But the first person who gets the badges, I'm going to give away a free course and it's going to be stupid crazy. Um, anyone heard of, how do you write your name? M-A-R-K-U-S-T-U-R-N-E-R. -E so if you all are not aware, there's this video that's just been going super viral on my page called um, How to Claim Your Identity. And I've been discussing it with my team and they they were not for this. I'm going to let y'all know. But I was like, yo, I got to support the people, y'all. I got to support the people. And the people may want this mini course on how to actually claim your identity. So, look, y'all tap in with the badges. The first person who blesses a brother with the badge, I'm going to send you a, uh, a I'm going to gift you the course. But I may go ahead and have you all join the waiting list as well if you all are interested, you know. But share this live with five people. Comment the word done because um, I'm here to answer all your questions. I'm here to answer all your questions. I'm here to answer all your questions. So what questions do you all have? So I can go ahead and tap in with y'all. Go ahead and, and bless y'all. Um, what questions do you all have? I'm here to answer any questions, anything at all. D-O-N-R. Oh, done. Bet. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's go ahead and tap in with the questions. Any questions y'all got? This Q&A, y'all. I'm here to answer any questions y'all got about how to be how to even, you know, build your family business, how to get your trust in order, how to how to fund your trust, asset protection, how to build an LLC, how to structure your LLC, whichever one y'all want to talk about first, how to repair and restore your credit right? If y'all are interested in repairing and restoring your credit, if y'all are interested in becoming financially invincible, I'm sorry, not invincible. Y'all do want that too, but financially invisible. Um, I'm here for that too. So any questions y'all got, holla at your boy, but y'all know we got to get, I want like 20 people on here. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's what I want. I want like 20 people on here so that we can really, really, um, Get y'all tapped in. I'm telling you, it's about to go crazy. I might, I might uh give y'all some, 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 some fire today. Y'all want me to give y'all some fire? Y'all want some gems? Is that what y'all want? Let me know if y'all want some gems. I got some gems for y'all. Yeah. Let me, let me actually pull it up. Let me actually pull it up. Maybe give y'all a sneak peek on what, um, on how to actually claim your stuff. Let me see. What's the first step? What's the first step on what? Let's be a little more specific. What what first step do you want to know? Like how to create a family business? I'll go from there. I'll go from the family business and then you let me know which step of the family business you want me to go more in depth on, right? 
So pretty much how to create a family business, the steps on how to create a family business, right? And I know a lot of people are like, yo, what is a family business? Or what's the myths on a family business? Like, how does that actually go? But how this technically rides, right? How this technically um, is set up is that you have to make sure that you set yourself up first. Okay, before you even create a family business, you got to make sure yourself is set up. That's the first thing. The second thing is you got to have family legacy meetings. You got to have meetings with your family every single week. I suggest once a week have a family meeting. I like to call it a family legacy meeting because the whole goal is to form that legacy, create that legacy, right? And in that legacy, you're going to be discussing, okay, how am I going to be... uh, Create, claiming my identity? How am I going to be, you know, formulating our trust? How are we going to be building our credit? How are we going to be getting funding? How are we going to be getting capital? How are we going to be doing several different things, right? So you want to make sure that your self is straight, meaning that, and when I mean yourself, right, I'm not talking on a financial standpoint, okay? I'm talking on a mental standpoint, a confidence standpoint, because if you're planning on getting somebody to to build or forming someone with a family legacy meeting, if you're like, yo, let's do a family legacy meeting, you can't come in there a little lazy daisy. You have to come in there with a sense of urgency and you have to come there with a sense of confidence. Yo, we need to do a family legacy meeting every single week or we're not going to build, we're not going to break this generational poverty. Like you got to come in with that type of confidence. You got to be like, yo, every single week at this time, we need to set ourselves straight. We need to make sure that we, us and our families is straight. That's the first thing you got to do. So, but your mental, your mental health has to be on point in order for you to do that. Right. And so you have, that means you got to, there can't be trauma between you and a family member. That means there can't be any issues between yourself from any past issues that was in the past. Share this live with with five people, y'all, and comment the word done. But you want to make sure your mental health is straight because you can't approach somebody you got beef with, right? So first step is take care of yourself. Second step, right, is bringing in a family legacy. Have a family legacy meeting between two to four people. That should be a family legacy meeting. A family legacy meeting is minimum two people. You can't have a legacy meeting by yourself. It's not possible. Right. So two people minimum is how to is how to actually create a family legacy meeting. All right. From that standpoint, in that legacy meeting, you're going to be talking about what you did wins wise previous week and what you're going to do the next week. Right. And within that meeting, you're going to be discussing personal credit, business credit, trusts, life insurance, all these amazing things. Right. All these amazing things. So, for example, someone saying, yo, what's the first step in claiming your identity? What you would be doing, right, is you would find a live life claim document, right? A live life claim document. And I'll show you all what a live life claim document looks like. So you all so you all have that. I'm going to bring it up right now. But you want to you want to actually fill out a live life claim document. And from that live life claim document. Let me bring it up first so y'all know what it's supposed to look like. Here we go. Here's the live life claim document, right? Ah, dang. Let me bring that up again. Here we go. Here's a live life claim document. This is what a live life claim document looks like. Right? This is what it looks like. Right? And for the for YouTube, this for y'all too. Y'all probably can't even see it. But You want to fill out a live life claim document. What that does is that allows you to claim that you are a living being. So in that family legacy meeting, you need to discuss, yo, um, are we even considered alive? (sighs) Right. But normal. Let's uh, let me back up. Normal people don't even know this information. So you can't even approach saying, hey, let's fill out a live life claimant da 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 da. because normal people don't know this. So in the when, the first thing you need to do when you're creating a family legacy meeting is go get some knowledge first. Go pay for a course. Go get access to a course. Go get some information. Go go do things you do not know how to do. Then from there, let's say one of those things is how to become sovereign or how to, how to claim your identity, 
then you then execute the information that you have received. You can't know something you don't know. You don't know what you don't know, right? So in order for you to actually take yourself to the next level as a family is that you have to then gain information and then that information will then, then you have to execute on that information, right? So going back to the live life claimant, right? Live life claimant, maybe one of the information, I know is one of the information we paid for. So I'm gonna give you experiences from, from our family legacy meeting, right? So in our family legacy meeting, we, we went out and got this information, figured out we're considered dead and dead in the eyes of the law. So we're like, okay, well, how do we even solve that? Right? Because we have to pay bills. We have to pay debt. We have to pay taxes. We have to pay mortgage. We have to pay all these things that we're technically not supposed to pay for because we are considered dead in the eyes of the law. So we we felt we filed a live life claimant, went to the post office, right? So we wrote down our live life claimant and went to the post office to mail it off. But we didn't just mail it off to anybody. What you first do, put in the comments, have you ever heard of um, the old school way of copywriting, mailing things to yourself to copyright? Has anyone heard of that before? Let me know in the comments. <clears throat> because what we did, right, is with that live life claimant, the first thing you need to do is you need to fill out that live life claimant, go to the post office, and then mail it to yourself. That's the first thing you have to do. You have to actually mail the live life claimant to yourself. The reason why is because you always, always, always have to have the original document. Don't go by what everybody else says. Here's another hack. Oh, man. Oh, man. Y'all getting this game today, y'all. Y'all getting this game. Y'all, share this live with five people and comment the word done. Because if we get to 20 people, yo, it's about to go crazy. What's going on, Erica? So this so this is what you want to do. This is, oh, man. Y'all probably never even heard this before. This is the first time I'm saying this on IG Live, just letting you know. Okay. So when you're filling out a live life claimant, you always want to fill, you always want to, you only, let me show y'all something. Where this thing at? I got one on me. Where is it? It's very simple, y'all. It's probably in my bag. Hold up. Yeah, it is in my bag. There's, oh, can anyone tell me what is the only pen color that we write with? We only write with the with the color blue. We only write in the color blue. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. If you write in black, that means that you cannot prove that that is the original color, the original copy, the original instrument. So if I write in blue always, then that means that I always I will always know that this is the original instrument. Y'all, y'all peeping what I'm saying right now. You will always, when I ask for the original instrument, I know that the original instrument is in blue because I wrote it in blue. So if you send it to me in black, that means that it is not the original instrument. So you can prove that you wrote it in blue. Now, this is the key thing. This is the key thing right here, y'all. This is the key thing. This is why we don't even trust anybody else. We mail things to ourselves because we know we got the original instrument. We're not sending it out to any, we're not sending the original instrument out to anybody anymore. We only own the original instrument and because we know we wrote in blue. So guess what we do, y'all? We scan it ourselves and send it off to everybody else. So with the Live Life Claimant, we... Before we mail it, before we uh, send it off through the post office and mail it to ourselves, what we do is we take a picture of it on our phone, from our phones, we take a picture of it, and then what we do is we then send it off to y'all, the other people. If y'all want to know who all the other people is, this is the other people is how you actually, is the second step in, in, uh, in claiming your identity. If you all want to actually know that, you got to comment the word legacy so you and I can have a personal discussion. So you can say, I can't give you all the sauce on here, but I can give you, I can give you some pieces, right? Because those, that information, I can't explain on the live. I'm not trying to get shut down on this thing. All right. So. There are certain people that I cannot actually say in public on the live. So you got to comment the word legacy if you want to know the exact 
of the second steps in actually claiming your identity, right? But you send it to you send it to yourself, and then you send it to them. You know, you know how uh, DJ Khaled says they, right? You send it to them, right? We don't. I'm not gonna say the names, but you got to send it to them afterwards, okay? You got to send it to them afterwards, but you always. You always, 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 always write in blue ink. There should be no other color from now on that you write in. So, actually, that's cap. There's another color you can write in, and it is gold or yellow. Anytime you write in your social security, share this live with five people, y'all. I'm about to give y'all this game. Any and every single time you write in your social security, you're writing your social security number in anything, it should always be in yellow or gold. Yellow and gold go this this means royalty and your social security should be treated as such. It is royal because if anybody has your social security number, they own you. This is why I stress no longer using your social security and only using your and switching your social or converting your social security to an EIN number. This is why I say this, because if someone takes your social security, you're SOL right? Your SOL. But if you convert your social security to a sole proprietor EIN number for banking purposes, because what, what you're doing is you're now going to establish credit on under your EIN number, not under your actual social security number. So a lot of people have already, and excuse my French, fucked up their social security number. That's okay. You want to know why that's okay? Because you can open up an EIN number, a sole proprietor EIN number for banking purposes, create a credit, create personal credit under that EIN number, and then use that EIN number to pay for your personal credit. Oh, I just gave y'all some game. That's only for what my mentees usually get. And I just gave y'all some game. Woo wee. Y'all probably didn't peep what I just said. Y'all probably didn't peep what I just said. Y'all probably didn't peep what I just said. Share this live with five people. And comment the word done. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Y'all about y'all about to I'm about to change the game with this one. I tell y'all, we about to change the game this year, man. 2023 is gonna be the y'all new year, man. It's gonna be y'all you y'all new year. I'm telling you. I'm gonna repeat that again. I'm gonna repeat that again. You want to convert your social security to an EIN number, sole proprietor. And a sole proprietor EIN number, but you want to make sure it is under banking purposes. Banking purposes. If uh, and Detrice, if you wanna, if you wanna learn how to set up a trust, bro, comment the word legacy, bro. My team will literally DM you all of the information and get in touch with you, bro. So if you all want to learn, like, there's a lot of information on here that I legit cannot say in public. Like, that's why I always say, yo, DM me because y'all will get all the sauce behind the scenes. I just can't say it in public. So there are certain things that I can say and there are certain things that I cannot say. So if you DM me legacy, you'll automatically get a text uh, and automatically get a DM. Right. And through that DM, uh, my team will then hit you up. Right. So because they because when they when that DM hits you up, that notifies my team to come contact you. Okay. Or I'll personally hit you up. One of the two. It's, it's either myself or my team will hit you up. But you got to comment legacy in order to do that. Because like I said, I can't. I, there's no way. I'm not trying to get sued. Not really sued. But I, but like I'm not trying to be Andrew Tate out here, okay? I'm not trying to be like an Andrew Tate where I say so much stuff. And there's like three different stages for people to shut you down. First stage is that they delete all of your social media. Second stage is they try to put you in jail or incarcerate you. Third stage is that they try to kill you. And I'm not trying to be in either one of them things. Okay? So you got to comment the word legacy for me to be able to reach out to y'all. All All right? Privately. So now y'all know. Now y'all know why I got... I I can only give out particular information on here. All right? So this is how it works. This is how it works. So you want to convert your social security to a sole proprietor EIN number under banking purposes. Okay? Under banking purposes, this is the I'm saying banking purposes for a reason because you're going to use this EIN number and establish credit under this EIN number, not business credit, 
but this is going to be your new social security. So this is going to be your new personal credit. A lot of y'all social security, because if you're not aware of your credit, your, your, your credit right now, like, if, I don't know if you all are aware, but your credit is based on your social security. Let me repeat that again. Your credit is based on your social security. So you are the original creditor. Nothing is supposed to be reported on your credit report without your permission. So anytime you see something, if you look up this law called permiss permissible purpose, I think it's U.S. Code 1861A or 1861B. I can't remember the exact one, but you are the original. You are the original creditor, which means that nothing can be reported without your permission. So anytime you, anytime something pops up on your credit report, you have a legal right to get it deleted because they did not come to you first to report it. But because you originally did not know that information, you all probably have jacked up credit. So the way that you can avoid trying to fix that is just convert your social security to an EIN number, establish personal credit under that EIN number, and then pay off that personal on that. Like it's just another play for you to, to take care of it, to take care of your social security debt, social security credit, right? This is literally the play that I'm telling our mentees to run. This is the play. Yo, comp, y'all got to give me some fire emojis off that play I just gave y'all. Like, did y'all did y'all get that? I don't know if y'all got that. I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know if I'm tripping right now. Did y'all get that for real? I just gave y'all some game. For the people who just hopped on here, y'all might got to watch the recording. But like, give me some fire emojis, y'all. Like, yeah, I'm... <laughs> I got to know I'm at least doing something out here. And for the people who just tapped in, if y'all aren't aware, we got badges. So y'all show some love and, and, and really see if I'm new to this badges thing. Y'all, I just recently went viral. So I'm getting all the perks without me even knowing the perks. You get what I'm saying? So like if I, if y'all, if y'all support with the badges, that'd be great. You know, just support a brother. You know what I'm saying? Ain't paying no bills out here. It just makes it just helps me know that y'all showing love and y'all actually y'all actually want this thing done. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I wanted. This is what I want to say, right? This is the this is the whole reason why I hopped on this live. I talked about claiming your identity, sending it to yourself. You get what I'm saying? Um, becoming the original creditor. Comment the word legacy. But I want to do y'all something even better. I want to do something even better for you all. Okay. Um, y'all talked about wanting to learn how to claim your identity. Speak more on the conversion of social security and EIN. I got you. I'm going to show you the ex exact steps, bro. I'm going to show you the exact steps. So I want to do something for y'all just for y'all being able to tap in real quick. So I'm coming out with a mini course on how to claim your identity from scratch. Okay. I can't break it down on this live. It's, I can't. It's, it's, it's not healthy. <laughs> the government always watching. So I want you all, I'm coming out with a mini course. If y'all want the mini course, all you got to do is DM me, like comment the word course or DM me the word course, whichever one works for y'all. Actually, yeah, DM me the word course. DM me the word course. And what I'll do, what I'll do is I will, I'll go ahead and send you all the link or at least allow you all to join the waiting list because bruh. Y'all gotta claim your identities, yo. I can't, I can't I can't keep with withholding this. I can't keep withholding this, y'all. So, like, if y'all want to really learn how to claim your identity, I'm telling you, I'm coming out with a course. I literally was like, yo, like these people are really blowing me up about claiming the identity, and there's no way that I can't just not give it to y'all. So I'm gonna come out with a course. All you gotta do is comment or DM me the word course. So you can comment course on this live or DM me. I'll send you personally the course on how to exactly claim your identity. I will say, cause I can't put it on here. I can't, I'm sorry. I wish I could give it to y'all, but I can't. Do you see what I'm saying? So if you comment me the word course, I will literally send you the link. Y'all be straight and y'all will learn how to claim your identity. Just, just to give back to the community. So Allegro 99 says, speak more on the conversion social security to EIN. All right. 
Perfect. I'm going to break that down for you step by step. So what you want to do is you want to go to IRS.gov. This only works if you're in the United States. I don't know how it is outside of the States. I'm pretty sure there's something similar in Canada. Okay. But you want to go to IRS.gov and in one of the tabs, you should see file. You should see file. When you go to file, you want to make sure to hit apply for EIN number. Okay. Or get EIN number online. But you got to go to irs.gov to do this, right? So you go there and then you scroll down. It'll redirect you to this page. You scroll down a little bit. And this live, y'all, I'm posting it on my Instagram. So you can always refer back to this live. All right. I'm not, I'm not going to do y'all like that. You can, you, what you do is after you go to apply for EIN number, you, it'll redirect you to a site. You scroll down a little bit and you'll see a button that says apply now, right? You want to click that button that says apply now. After you, after that, you will then get redirected. You may have to sign in or you may have to do, you know, regular, um, regular stuff, whatever, whatever stuff, um, that you got to fill out when you're doing irs.gov is like basic information. And then from there, you make sure to click sole proprietor, sole proprietorship, and make sure you click banking purposes. I cannot stress everything else. You just put your basic information in that I just mentioned before. You're putting basic information, but you have to make sure you do these two things. So proprietor and banking purposes. Like you'll click next on the irs.gov for you to see these two tabs. So you'll see so proprietor first. Okay. You'll see so proprietor first. Then you'll see banking purposes second. Okay. I'm telling you now the key thing here, the key thing, the key thing. And my, my, my Dr. T on here, she asking these questions. That's important. This is the key thing. I'm glad. Cause I was just, I was just about to say this. Okay. It's just about to say this. Um, your, your address, it cannot be the same address. It cannot be your home address. You have to buy a virtual address. Okay, you have to buy a virtual address, another virtual address. All right, and put that as the address in your EIN number. It cannot be the same address on your social security because remember, we're trying to move from personal to business. From per we're, tr we're no longer trying to be a personal liability. We're trying to be a business asset. And the way that you do that is you have to purchase a uh, a virtual business address. You can go to iPostal, which is like 10 bucks for a virtual address. It's like 10 bucks a month, y'all. Here's a new hack. Pay, pay, pay it for one month. After you get the EIN number, after that one month, cancel that thing. It's already in your EIN number. <laughs> what? I'm glad I joined because I was about to request an EIN and I didn't. What about the LLC? Great question. Great question for us, people that's on, on the YouTube, right? So what you're doing is when usually if you already have an EIN number, they'll say um, you pay $25 for a year for LLC. All right. Oh, that's, that's a good price. I'm not even going to hold you. This EIN number, when you're shifting your personal, um, your personal liability to a business asset, right? When it comes to the EIN number, this EIN number is a sole proprietorship. It is not connected to an LLC. This is an individual sole proprietor. This is not connected to an LLC. Okay. When you're doing a virtual address, this virtual address is connected to the EIN number. Yes. iPostal.com. You can go to Opus. One, you can go to Opus. You can go to uh, um, Regis. Like I believe that's the name, right? These are all three sites you can go to to get a business virtual address or virtual address period, right? Make sure that it is a brick and mortar. That's another hack. Make sure it is a brick and mortar location when you get this virtual address. You're not getting this virtual address um, without a brick and mortar. Gotta be a brick and mortar, okay? Gotta be a brick and mortar. So an LLC is separate from your EIN number. So let me, let me make sure I, I clarify that, right? So what I'm talking about right now is an EIN number for individual. I'm not talking about an EIN number for an LLC for a business. These are two totally different things, okay? An EIN number for LLC 
is different from an individual EIN number. So you will have two EIN numbers, one as an individual and one for your business. Okay. So do you have to be a business owner? No, you do not have to be a business owner. Okay. Okay. You do not. Do you have to be a bit, uh, what do you mean brick and mortar? So when you're buying and when you're going to these iPostal uh, or, or any of these websites to get a virtual address, you will see, they'll give you a photo. You'll see a photo on the website of a building, right? When you see the photo of that building, that's a brick and mortar. That means that address is associated with an office, right? So you got to make sure that you are... Um, this virtual address is connected to an office, right? Can you use the same corporate for both? Same corporate. What do you mean corporate? What do you mean by corporate? Corporate address, corporate corporation as an LLC. Like when you're doing a sole proprietor, this EIN number is not connected to a corporate address. Uh, can you use the same corporate address? No, this has to be a separate, everything that I'm saying, when the EIN number has to be separate from everything. So you got a separate address for everything. Every LLC has a separate address. Every EIN, ev this EIN number has a separate address. I'm on irs.gov. What are the steps again? So how it works, right, is in irs.gov, you will see on the tabs, you will see file, okay? You will see the word file. Go to file. Then, after, you know what? We're going to do this together. Let me bring this up. We're going to do this together. I'm here to give value, y'all. I, I, hope, I hope this is bringing value. Okay? We're going to do this together. All right? We're going to do this together. Let me unplug y'all real quick. What's up? Let's do this together. All right? This is IRS.gov. This is IRS.gov, y'all. All right? And IRS.gov, let me share the screen even on here, too. Let me share the screen real quick. All right. Let me see. Window. IRS.gov. Boom. All right. This is IRS.gov. You want to go to file. And then you want to go to apply for an employee ID number. Okay. Apply for an employee ID number. You want to click that. It'll redirect you to this site. What you then want to do is you want to scroll down and click apply online. Okay? It doesn't matter. I prefer to do this on a laptop. It does not matter if it's on a phone, but I would recommend a laptop. Okay? Um, oh, I forgot, y'all. Y'all have to apply between business hours. So between 9 and 5 p.m. So I can't even show you all the rest because it's past business hours. All right? But what you would do is after you click that, right, after you've clicked apply online, it would then give you options for you to uh it would then it would then give you options for you to do uh okay, which one are you applying? Are you applying for a uh sole proprietor individual? Are you applying for an LLC? Are you applying for C Corp, S Corp, blah, 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 blah. Um, it'll ask you all these questions. And you're going for sole proprietor because you're applying as an individual, not as a business. This is for personal. Okay. So after you do the, after you do that, you will then click next. You know, you got the next button on there and eventually you'll get to a part where it'll say, is this for a corporation? Is this for something else? And then it'll say banking purposes. I can't remember all the options off the top of my head, but you're clicking banking purposes. Okay. When you click banking purposes, you keep clicking next. You then put your, your name, uh, so your original social security number, because we're converting it. So you got to put your original social security number in to convert it to an EIN number. Right. And then you're putting your business address. Okay. And then from there you keep clicking next and then you're, you're good. Now, if, if there, if it ever says there's an error, that means that you have an existing EIN number that you may have created before or forgotten. So just call irs.gov and change the name of the EIN number. The EIN number should be in your first and last name. So in my case, Marcus Turner. Okay? Marcus Turner, right? If they say, hey, 
the, what would you like to call your sole proprietor, right? Your sole proprietor is called Marcus Turner. So your sole proprietor and your EIN number got the same name because it's the same person. All right. Can you please tell us one benefit we would then use this EIN number? This EIN number, you are then going to use this to build credit. This is going to be your new personal credit. This is going to be a new, your new Social Security. So you are no longer using your Social Security for anything else. You're only using your EIN number for everything. You're only using your EIN number for everything. You're no longer using your Social Security number after this. So you're going to be building personal, you're going to be building credit, uh, personal credit under this EIN number. You're then going to be getting funding under this EIN number. And so then if your personal credit is messed up, it's all good. Because what you're going to do is you're going to leverage the funding that you're getting from EI, from the EIN number and pay for your Social Security. And now you're going to be straight not only with the with the Social Security, you're also going to be straight with the EIN number. OK, so let me ask these. Let me answer these questions. Um, they could not find anything under my name. I don't know what you mean by they could not find anything under my under your name. I don't know what you mean. Once this is achieved, do I use? Oh, Lashana, is that you? Is that is that our mentee right there? Lashana, I already done broke this thing down for you yesterday. What you mean? Once this is achieved, do I use the EIN number instead of the social when filing out a personal paperwork? Yes. Job is included. Transfer our assets into EIN. Yes. 100%. You too. What's poppin'? You know, we on, we on with everybody today, y'all. We on with everybody. If y'all got questions, holla at your boy. Y'all see that QR code too? That QR code right here? Let me, boom. Yeah, that QR code, y'all tap that. We having a free webinar. Y'all same here, right? Same here. If y'all want to join our free webinar, we have a free webinar this Sunday to explain all this to you in detail and more. How to create a trust, how to... uh fund your your trust with life insurance how to get funding in general how to create a family crest look we about to break down everything on this webinar i'm telling you this workshop about to go stupid if y'all want to know how to do it comment the word legacy because like i explained before i can't explain all this online it's impossible so comment the word legacy youtube comment the word legacy or to actually tap this qr code so you can join Tap this QR code so you can sign up. It's free. Absolutely free. You see what I'm saying? UCC1 financial statement, that's something you got to actually join our mentees. You got to become a mentee to learn that because that's how you actually create your own ID. That's how you create your own passport, create your own currency, create your own crest, all that. So if y'all comment the word legacy, I got you. And summer's fun. What I want y'all to do, yeah, co comment. But I want y'all to hit this, hit this uh, QR code real quick. Or if you want, if you comment the word legacy, comment also your Instagram so that we can DM you. <clears throat> I got a message about webinar, but never a link. All right, we gonna definitely set that up. We gonna definitely set that up for you. DM me, DM me personally. Say I want to speak to Marcus in the DMs because sometimes my team is in the DMs. I'm just being honest with y'all. I can't respond to a thousand DMs. I'm just being complete. Look, I'm transparent on here, y'all. I'm going to be completely authentic. I'm going to be completely real. Like, I can't respond to all these DMs, especially since my page has gone completely bonkers. So my I have to hire an entire staff team to respond to my DMs. So literally say, I'm going to put it in, I'm going to put it in the chat too. Um, Sign up with this link, www.theblackrock, oh, I can't spell, theblackrockefellers.com slash workshop dash founders, boom. Yes, sir. I pinned a comment, y'all. I pinned a comment. Y'all don't even got to worry about the QR code. This is for YouTube. This is for YouTube that needs the QR code. I'm going to put this in the description for you, for YouTube right now. So y'all got this. Right? So y'all can just click the link. Workshop. That's founders. There we go. 
So YouTube, I got you. I'm placing the link right there for you. There you go. You've been around since I am. That's lit. That's a throwback. I am. I will never forget. I am. I am is lit. I am taught. I am is what God has started in this in this in this rabbit hole <laughs> of a race. You get what I'm saying? It got us in this rabbit hole of a race. I'm telling you. <clears throat> but go ahead, click this link right here. You going to be on point. I got the link in there on on Instagram too, y'all. Um, sincere photography. I like it. Let's go. Okay, we're not. Oh yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm streaming on two different platforms, y'all. Two different platforms. So I'm talking to YouTube and I'm talking to y'all at the same time. But look, I'm telling y'all. Comment the word legacy. I will send you all of the information to join our free webinar. It's free. It costs you nothing. The worst thing that you are, that will happen is that you will learn something new. That's the worst. That's the worst possible thing that can happen is that you learn something new. So comment the word legacy. We will send you everything. I'm telling y'all, I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Um, or you can click the link and search this URL. But I got y'all. I'm here for it www.theblackrockefellers.com slash work workshop dash founders or just click the link in my bio if y'all just don't want to wait click the link in my bio if y'all don't want to wait but this is what y'all this is what it is that's what it is i see that i, I typed this thing wrong so i'm gonna put the right link right there boom there y'all go the link the link right there you get what i'm saying so <clears throat> Appreciate y'all for tapping in. Uh, this is the value that I wanted to give. Do y'all have any questions for me before we close off? I don't even want to hop off without answering every single question that's on here. I want to answer every single question that's on here. Okay? Every single question. Do y'all have any questions? I talked about how to claim your identity. You want to make sure that you fill out the live life claimant that I showed you all. Um, I can't I, I can't give this live life claim in public, unfortunately. I'm coming out with a mini course so that you all can get access to this. Um, so if, if you like, all y'all got to do is comment the word course, just comment course and I'm going to drop it. I'm even going to drop a reel just to make sure that y'all got it. All right. So I'm going to make sure y'all got, I'm just, I just want to take care of y'all. Y'all, There's a lot of y'all that want to know this information and I'm willing to give it. I swear I'm going to give it to y'all. Um, I swear I'm going to give it to y'all. It's either going to be this week or next week that I'm going to drop this. All right. So if y'all comment the word course, I'm going to make sure it's set up for y'all to be able to pre-order it in advance. And then when the videos are done, I'm going to make sure that y'all get it. OK, y'all can get the pre-order before it even comes out. Y'all can just and I'm going to just send it to y'all. Forget all that. I'm going to just send it to y'all. All right. So I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Thank y'all so much. Y'all been a whole bunch of joy. I, I see that I need to come here at 10 o'clock every single day. Um, I don't know how often I'm gonna be on these lives. Since I got an audience, it's just it's just way better to just hop on lives instead of talking to myself, right? The link, um, the link, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the link. I just pinned the new link. So the blackrockefellers.com slash workshop dash founders. Um, that is the that is the exact link. Y'all can either click the link in my bio and you can just click on it instead of guessing, or you could just uh you like comment the word legacy. Or whatever, and we'll just send it to you. So I appreciate y'all for tapping in. YouTube, love y'all. Instagram, love y'all. I'm about to go ahead and work on this. Would you uh, would you uh rest records show up with the new EIN? I can't even I don't even understand what that means. Um DM me, DM me quantum so I can actually quantum particle so I can actually do that. It's not in Kansas City, that's lit. Yo, drop where y'all from. Drop where y'all from. This is getting kind of lit. I love talking to y'all. I could come here and talk to y'all all day. I'd be here all day. I don't even care. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what? where are y'all from? We got Kansas City in the house. You're on YouTube. I am on YouTube. 100%. I am on YouTube. We got Texas. Okay. I like it. We got Denver. This is lit. Richmond, VA, Virginia. Okay, Georgia. I'm in the A. You see what I'm saying? We're, com we're coming out with the in-person event in September. So, if you all are interested in coming to our in-person event, in September, let me know. Um, we'll go ahead and get y'all plugged in, right? If y'all not really wanting to waste no time, we got that ready for you. Florida, okay. I like it. That's lit, y'all. That's lit. That's lit. Texas, 
Y'all Texas, y'all repping tonight, man. Y'all repping tonight. I like it. I like it. Y'all repping tonight. So look, y'all, I'm not going to hold y'all. Hopefully y'all got some value off this live. I appreciate you. I always love everybody that's on here. Y'all hop back on and uh, I'll probably tap in later. So I appreciate y'all. Peace. You too. Peace. One love.